Last month on OtaQuest, we celebrated a November filled with Shinichiro Watanabe appreciation. This included two interviews with the man himself, but it also involved several interviews with those who've worked with the globally recognized director. So I thought that instead of just talking about who he was from any sort of objective sense, it would be interesting to see what it's like working with Shinichiro Watanabe. <laughs> When Dai Sato, screenwriter for Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo, talks about working with Watanabe, he refers to it all starting with the music. Whilst other directors will plan and plot things out carefully, Watanabe starts things off just talking about the music he's been enjoying recently. From there, he just works on instinct, letting his ideas go wild and creating a world and scenario. Sato first worked with Watanabe while writing lyrics for the music on Macross Plus. During that time, Sato started to recognize that Watanabe was into the same kind of music as him, and they quickly became friends. So much so that he was invited to write on Cowboy Bebop. He describes working on the series as casual chats, listening to new records, and using them as inspiration to build worlds. Because to work in a narrative position with Watanabe isn't necessarily a writing job. The core of these settings and stories is in their music, and as a part of that, Dai Sato was constantly asked for feedback on the music and vibe of their works together. Even when he's invested in the visual side of his works, Watanabe will still use musical terms to describe what he's looking for. For instance, he describes Space Dandy, an eclectic collection of the best directors and animators in the industry, as a kind of music festival, where each episode is another big star on the lineup. One of the reasons Watanabe is so globally recognized is because he always seems to strive to make something different. One example of this is when he was looking for a designer for the main spaceships in Space Dandy. Studio Bones has connections with an incredible number of mechanical designers, but Watanabe opted to contact Tom Raman, a designer who worked for Studio Satellite at the time. Raman was confused as well, but when speaking to Watanabe, it became clear. He wanted something entirely different from what you'd expect from Japanese sci-fi, and Raman, having grown up in France, would have been exposed to different influences. So Dandy's ship ended up being based on a Hawaiian canoe with an American car as its shuttle, and Dr. Gale's ship was a wild creation with the head of the Statue of Liberty muffled with a bull gag. And Shinichiro Watanabe is likely the only director who sees this and says, awesome, that's what we're gonna go with. This kind of unique direction does mean, however, that his vision might not be entirely understood by viewers and makes it harder for him to make a commercial mega hit. And his creative vision won't even be sacrificed for the sake of merchandising. For instance, when working on Cowboy Bebop, Bandai wanted it to include several spaceships that could be turned into figures. But when it came to production, Watanabe conveniently didn't mention this fact to anyone, leading to Bandai cancelling the project and subsidiary companies Bandai Visual picking it back up again. But ultimately, even if he's not able to capture the domestic market, Shinichiro Watanabe has enamored anime creators and musicians from all over the world. When Nujabes talked to Taku Takahashi about taking a job on Samurai Champloo, Taku's immediate reaction was, you should definitely do it. And I can imagine that's advice for anyone who gets the chance to work with Watanabe because they're gonna have one hell of a time if they do. Visit odaquest.com to read our interviews with creators who've worked with Shinichiro Watanabe, as well as our two-part interview with the man himself, speaking about his work on Carolyn's Tuesday, Cowboy Bebop, and more.